Hey man, say man. What we do? Hey, that ain't it. It's man. Man. Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. Say man. Hey man. Memphis man. Oh, I'm going Memphis. Memphis man. Memphis man. I forgot the day man. But we come October 12th. October 12th man. We gonna be in South Haven. That right back. We going to motherfucking Memphis man. Drive back from Memphis and drive over there. Yeah. We know South Haven right now. So we not going to Memphis. We going to Mississippi. We going to South Haven, Mississippi. But it's North Mississippi. Man, everybody from Memphis going to come. Memphis gonna but go to all South the Mississippi Haven people anyway. coming too. Hey, South Haven with the Atlanta Center. No cap. October 12th. 12th. Yeah. You might get one of them birds, man. That's a so pay week too. To so you ain't got no South excuse. We're going to go be. ahead, man. Call one man, and get one of them birds. So man. we're going to South Haven. Hit the website. October 12th. But a lot of Memphis people. Get one of them birds, man. It's close to Memphis. Get one of them birds. Right. Memphis this way. Real, man. Right there. So everybody South Haven, then he going to get one of them birds, man. You trying to get some birds? Um, birds. At least makes the neighborhood a little bit more safe. No cap. At least for the kid. October 12th. Duval. Hey, man, you know where we going, man. Uh, it's time to go back. October 5th. We coming back to the Vistar Memorial huh? Auditorium. Where Slim. we going? Vistar. When? October 5th. You talking about nigga? Duval County. Come on yeah. now. And it's going down like that. Jacksonville, you Make heard? sure you grab some tickets and pull up on us, man. Come on, man. Big business. Come on. That's all we're talking about. Come Big on. business. Duval Jacksonville. Where to get the tickets? 85southshow.com. Hey, Come on. What's her name? Sounds magnificent to me. Would you agree? Yeah. You know, see, what well, we listen to heaven over here. Okay. Nothing but temp. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Because it's like metaphorically, hypothetically, and logistically, we pimping. Mm -hmm. Fact. But it's a different kind of pimping. Because it's like, we facilitating the entertainment through the fields and the channels and the representations that we represent. Agreed. Now, we have a strong demographic. Mm -hmm of motherfuckers who've been behind the movement, mm. but they forward thinking. Let that sink in. You behind the movement, but you forward thinking. Mm. Cause yeah. there's a lot of people mm. who done seen what we done saw, but they ain't been what we done been, and they didn't do what we did to have what the fuck we have. <clears throat> now, some people ain't gonna never understand, even if they stand under it. But even if you put them over it, that don't mean that they gon' overstand it either. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Now see, a book can't never be a magazine. And a magazine can never be a book. But a book ain't necessarily a novel either. <laughs> and if it gets too small, it's a pamphlet. Now what's that for? A brochure. But a pamphlet can't be a magazine. <laughs> and a lot of people miss it's a pamph pamphlet. Pamphlet is a pretender. That's only a sheet of paper folded. That's one thing. Pretending to be three. Pamphlet is sections. Come on, man. But it's supposed to be the most important information. I felt like the pamphlet is supposed to be the shorthand form of the shit that you would read in the magazine. I mean, of course, if it was papyrus, it would be a totally different conversation. Now, don't even get me speaking on dimensions and things of that. Oh, man. I think it is dimensional, though, because you say it's wrapped in the thing. And as a person who was born into the cloth that was already soaked in the fibers of pimping and the essence of the game, I understand the vibrations because in order to deal with heavy vibrations, you need a solid foundation and that which I stand ten toes upon. Almost as if it was a pedestal, a throne even, a golden one with falcons on the side. So because of that, and Let what I go. exist in, I, I'm able to accept that and be a vessel and then speak. My word is the pamphlet. Mm. The sermon is the book. That's how we land into the series of novels. That's going to end up flowing forth from anything I decide to vibrate outwardly. What you're saying is the pimpin is the paper which you have folded into a verbal origami of sorts, mm. Mm -hmm. which has led to so many different angles being applicable at the same time. Mm. Yes. Mm. I Everything mean, everywhere all at once. My brother, 
I am pimping, and pimping is me. I am pimping existentially. You talked about the fabric of the cloth that was soaked in the pimping, so we would be remiss if we didn't mention string theory, because string together is cloth. Exactly. Not to interrupt, not to interrupt the perpetual motion oh, that my is brother, already do. being situated the punks, the men, and the brotherhood. Feel free to be cylindrical. Now, I don't mean to interfere with the uh, centrilical force okay. that you young brothers are pontificating right now. Come on. Now, this could easily turn into a word bar miss. But I have a smorgasbord of ideas that I would just like to bring to the table. Oh, there's, there's no need to filibuster. Come on. The bar mitzvah is for the adolescent. I feel like we are all matured past that point in terms of uh, our comparison to the fine wine we may drink after this. No Absolutely. need no need to celebrate becoming As long a as we all we contribute to the perpetual motion of the situation that's already amongst us, like see it from a different perspective and from an interdimensional type speculation. Are we back to it? Multiverse pimping. Right. But what about paper mache made from the same materials as always with the wings? That's hypocrisy. I don't necessarily I identify with those ideals, brother. For some reason, that feels foreign to me. So I'm going to move past that. Very Particularly confident. how you really feel about the situation. Very confident. <laughs> I'm just saying, I feel like his examples was a bit convoluted and not based on the same pillars uh, of which all three of us have been addressing this Foundation. Board. Foundation. Yeah. It just seems a little shaky. Yeah, yeah. shoddy, shoddy. Now look, don't- Poor don't, workmanship. Don't yeah. mandate his governance. Oh man, hey man, I'm not trying to be fiduciary. I understand that. I understand that, but when you perpetuate a stereotype just because it's a stereotypical situation that they have placed that brother in, mm -hmm. he is not his situation. No, he's not. At the same time, we can't project our ideals onto the brother so much that they obstruct his own realities and development of his pimping even further. He is already struggling to get his own monologue across. <laughs> True. True. So I would never dilate his situation. He was struggling with addiction. Exactly. It's the verbiage that he was lost in. Because I feel like the young man couldn't convey his ideas the way that ideally he wanted to, ironically. I just was wondering what the fuck paper mache was about. I felt like that was cold word for something he was trying to interject anyway. I pondered to myself, why is he being so loquacious? <laughs> oh my God. Because it behooves he, me, brother. I behoove. I can tell that he was a mischievous you. <laughs> Unbeknownst to him. <laughs> you got to talk like you're not there. <laughs> it's the bigotry of the whole situation that really just turns me off of the whole ideal. I try not to move with such uh, prudential bias, but wow. my jurisdiction is swayed with the wind. My constituents would demand a recount if we were ever to vote on it. Well, let me be the first to step up to the altar and thank the Lord. Mm. Here you the, go, trying to be like an oligarchy now, huh? <laughs> now you, okay. Hey, I mean, I mean I, I'm, just, I'm still monotheistic. Okay. I, I, would, I don't know how I to I would be. much like if we reverted back to the bureaucracy in which we put so much work into establishing. All in favor of that say aye. 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 <laughs> hey man, welcome back to the 85 Stop Show. <laughs> yeah. On today's episode, we will be paying meticulous oh, deep attention oh, to details. Yeah, we will be looking over everything that seems peculiar in a very interesting, on, visible, on, mm. situational. Come on, man. You ain't seen Humoristic. You ain't seen no shit like this? Come on, man. Come on, man. You ain't seen no shit like this, bro. We got some very special guests in the house with us today. A phenomenal young man, all the way from motherfucking Oakland. My player partner. Come on. Nigga talking more shit Come on. than a little bit. Come on. Rapper. Come actor, on. Movie star. Uh, scammer. In the Scammer <laughs> Hall of Fame. I mean, that's just part of his 
He don't scam no more, but he oh, know how. Oh. He know how. People don't scam no more. All no, they, they do is, is dead. Yeah, he gave his life to the Lord, and yeah. now he's living better. Come on. Come this on. is my dog. Come on, None man. other Let's than Quap Dad. D-A-P. Quap Dad is in here. Welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap. Thank you for having me. 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 One of the most interesting niggas in the world, man. That's one of the most vibrant introductions a player could ask for. I'm grateful for those words. You honor my legacy and my work. I do. Mm -hmm. Because your philosophy runs so deep within the black community. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. I've been waiting for somebody to say that on the platform. There it goes. Check that off. A very forward thinking young man. (laughs) Yeah. You know what? I think my introduction was. This nigga made a, a video for himself, about himself, to himself on his birthday. And he thanked himself for being exactly who he was. And it was all, all a plan. He intended to be himself his whole life. And then when the moment made a full circle and he realized that this was part of what it was, see, you gotta respect the way that young nigga think. Because Yo, anybody who was born to be themselves and then ended up being themselves without being nobody else in the world that's full of people who want to be somebody else? That's crazy. You made a video to you for you. That was amazing. That was a, a perfect summary. I'm finna write that down so my <laughs> PR got that. Like, here he you go. This is what I did. That's crazy. And he shares the same birthday as Mick Jagger. Mm-hmm. And we got none other than <laughs> Jack Thriller. Come on. Yeah, man. Jack Thriller. Because people were saying they hadn't seen Jack Thriller in a long time. But oh, I guarantee man. you, it's been even longer since he's seen you. <laughs> <laughs> One minute at a time, man. Is this microphone on? <laughs> Clayton English of the English Majors. Oh, you know what it is, man. Come on, man. The head of the class. He got a new show yeah, that's, yeah. that's doing... Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all should, you should go in there and discuss astrophysics with him. Yes, I'm actually super into quantum physics. I'm with it. That's why I said the strength theory. Man, yeah, come no, on, man. I'm, I already I'm see. Aware. I already I'm aware. saw. I saw. I'm well aware. <laughs> Man's well versed. I'm Delaware. Listen, what, what, what y'all talking see, about? You always yeah. need it. See, here it go. Like, see? it's just there sometimes go. I feel like you gotta have some tact. Oh, look, man. I used use, to watch Quantum Leap. I, so I, we I usually a start about the from the beginning and then work our way up. But this dude, he got a lot of good shit going on. He got a movie coming out. Let's go. Your whole movie starting out. When the movie yeah. driving. Man, you done parlay your internet, social media personality into a whole movie career, man. Yeah. That's big. Thank you, thank you. It, What's uh, the update on, on the whole movie transition, bro? So it's a Monkey Paw production. Monkey Paw is oh, Jordan shit. Peele's okay. studio. Yeah. So it's the next Jordan Peele produced film. It's called Him. It come out second quarter next year. And uh, I play I play a, a very decent role up in that motherfucker. OK, so hold on, yeah. man. Jordan Peele, I know you probably can't talk about it, because his shit be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can ask me questions. I'll answer if I can, but I ain't blowing up the bag. OK, man. bet, bet. Yeah, that's all I, I just, that's I all I want. Yeah. But well, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on. I'm, a, I'm a naturally media trained nigga. It's him? It's called him? Uh-huh. Are you him? Yeah. In the movie? Oh, for sure. Oh, OK. It's called him because of me, and how I did in the movie. They changed oh. the name because of some, of some shit that I did. That's crazy. It had a whole nother name before I was That's in, before I crazy. Mm-hmm. So you could tell us what the whole nother name was? No. No, probably not. No. They still might I make I knew it. that. No. I knew that. Yeah, no. <laughs> because they did it, Just know it wasn't him. Gotcha. Jack, wasn't it? Wasn't cool? your first acting, though, no, right? Was that your first acting? This was my first time at, uh, having to be like a character with hella lines. Okay. To like pages of lines to go off and multiple days of shooting on a right. huge set. I've done TV before, but on every TV appearance, I was just me. Right. And right. I'm built off winging it. So motherfuckers give me lines and every time, I was happy when I had to, to like do a job this time. Cause every time it's like, nigga give me the script and just be like, but you you go yeah. ahead, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I wanted to like try it. You know, so yeah. I, re- I I had that shit memorized front to back. Oh, 80 times, I couldn't wait. I okay. couldn't wait. Yeah. Damn, what else? Was the challenge of that um, intimidating for you without uh, the lines? Nuh-uh. I was already like 
I was starting a freestyle series at the time, and I was just like picking old school beats and rapping over them and dropping them every Friday. So like I, I got used to memorizing shit. Okay. So I just recorded it in Pro Tools. I recorded all my so lines. So you recorded your Tools. lines. Just Hey, what's up? It's your man, Carlos Miller. Man, I'm over here trying to find me some pics, man. What you think? Kirk Cousins for 246 and a half yards? I don't know. Trevor Lawrence at 253. That might be... Hey, don't worry about what I'm picking. You need to make your own picks. When you play a $5 lineup, prize picks will give you $50 just for playing. Play a $5 lineup, and you get $50 instantly just for playing. You don't even have to win. All you have to do is sign up with code 85SOUTH and get $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. You don't need to win your lineup to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Play a $5 lineup and you'll get $50 instantly just for playing. So go right now and download Prize Picks today for our Daily Fantasy Sports experience. Daily Fantasy made easy. Prize Picks. Read them shit uh -huh. and just ran them. 20, 29 minutes, 58 seconds. Of wow. And I just listened. Wait, to that's all. You, that's that's. You did all your lines like that? In one take. Oh, I'm thinking you just doing this shit when you. No, I memorized 30 minutes of audio, just to have. And it, it had it in your mind. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then went in. And, and then was still had to... to wing it. But I wanted to show him that. Right, but you. I was professional, you nah, know, because nah, I ain't know how they was gonna judge a <laughs> nigga. I don't really. You feel nah. me? I'm already kind of rubbing the wrong way because I needed to smoke weed in my trailer. So they, I'm already asking like young nigga questions. I didn't want to have that set up because mm -hmm. they made it seem like it wasn't a problem. And then I pulled up, still not able to perform or be professional because they know I got device in the trailer. So it was it, it like I wanted to be hella serious about the lines. Oh, so they couldn't say shit about exactly. It. Man, that's, that's what I would have did. I like to that's still, cause I, I still want to live free. That's what man. I do too. I'm yeah. gonna be over prepared. I'm gonna know this shit, and I'm gonna be on the fly too, mm -hmm. cause I'm gonna come in here. And I'm be I'm, I'm, I'm be high. I ain't gonna be high by the time we shoot. I'm gonna be high when the day start. By the no, time I'm you be, come get me, I'm, I'm be high. Nap. Time. Oh, you was high. high okay. Time. Okay. Hold time. I'm be high. Hold time. That was it. Yeah, I mean, I feel you. <laughs> we done rap. Huh? We done shoot now. So I, mean, I get high at lunch. High oh man. How far away from your uh, character? Uh, is your real personality? It's super close. I think he's just a bit more positive than me. I'm naturally optimistic, and I, I radiate positivity, I think, because of my charisma. But at the same time, Oakland prevents me from being a little bit too much. Mm. Uh, so I think I had to stop myself from, like, not delivering in places where I would have been negative. For sure. Right. Even like when it came to winging the lines, the shit that I wanted to say, I knew was out of character. Right. It still kind of would have like been funny, but it wasn't the character. Right. He just is positive. This nigga is. <laughs> he right. radiated like a meditation guru. Okay. Nigga, okay. but he's still a boy though. He a young nigga. Like he about bullshit, but it's good bullshit. Okay. You feel like this is gonna be the role that really let people know you got the chops for real. I hope it do. I hope this road changed my life because that's how I was trying to act. Like the rent was due. That's how you gotta go. Because it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you even be, um, get considered for this project? Because this is very prestigious. Man, Talk your shit, Jack. There we go. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I like that one. It take a minute for work. the eye to connect to work. the Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> He got all the information. Nah, I mean, you know, in the warehouse, Bluetooth be fucking yeah, up. Yeah, he got all the info. <laughs> um, it, it's, a, it's a crazy story. I try to shorten it as much as possible because Hollywood is weird like that. I was at a, a, a YouTuber's birthday named Burleasy. He booked Buddy to perform. I'm best friends with Buddy. We pull up with Buddy because Buddy doesn't know YouTubers, neither do I. So he just thinks he's pulling up to. He, we thought the nigga was white. This is black, it's a, it's a young nigga doing this shit. He got a whole gala. It's rich, young black people in YouTube and shit. All the niggas that's like on Twitter and famous for clips, all them niggas is there in suits. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> I've seen a, another Instagram nigga who I only know from the gram backstage. And I, I, I he had posted something that was kind of sad. So I was, I asked him like, how's his mental health? 
because I was kind of worried. Like I seen something, I wanted to check on them, and I be seeing it in niggas' eyes. When you, you know, like I could see the, the pain yeah. shining, and if I identify what it is, it's gonna make me speak up. So I said something to him. But we, I'm just checking on him, and the whole time, Jordan Peele, right hand man, and the nigga that run the music department and all his shit for Monkey Paw is on the wall listening. So he stopped us when we done talking, and, and he was like. But what you say your name was? Guap. I said, yeah, Guap Dad 4000. He said, man, yeah, no, we've been here about you. We've been here about you a lot. This conversation was beautiful, man. We finna talk to you in a second. At the same time, I was coming off a of shooting with Issa Rae, and we had did rap shit, and I was like, I made a splash on that set. Yeah. So people was talking about me in yeah, the shit. That was dope ass yeah. show. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad that shit got canceled. But... Shout out to Ida. Yes. Yeah. Got oh the um, writer strike, all that bullshit. Yeah, man, man. It was hella little stuff. bullshit with that. But it, it was during that time. So my motion carrying over, and then I met this nigga. Yeah. And that's, this is at the time where I'm activated with my agent, Jabron, at CAA. So cold. This nigga, I fuck with this nigga so tough. I love this nigga. He, he hella clean. He just got case. Right. Like, yeah. So we activated, and then it came across him because he knows some of the niggas up over there. Next thing you know, I'm reading shit. And all I had to do was talk to the uh, director of the film because that nigga from the Bay ain't part Filipino. So he, we already was intersecting in two ways. So it, it was like, I did so well on the phone with him, he wanted to cast me, and then the studio hated on me. It was like, nah, that nigga got to read like everybody else. Mind you, I'm on the email like, come on, can't wait. Yeah. It was like, oh, can't wait, huh? Nigga, <laughs> I sent them. You know, you're only really supposed to send one clip of the size. I must have sent eight. Everyone was like, I'm star study. Everybody else on the email was like, Shh, this is great. I'm, I, I'm just was imagining the lady who did, who was forcing me to read face like, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Look at all these CCs on this. Right, 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 right. <laughs> felt good, felt good. Right. Bro, hold up, what I seen you do? Didn't you take your family? We went to the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah, you know that's every look, uh, immigrant baby dream. Especially Filipino wise, take your grandma back to the Philippines. Mm. Took my granny, my little sister, and my mama. Yeah. And I had a festival out there. Took my grandma went to to a, the beach islands that y'all you ever be on the Grammy? You see the niggas in the uh the motherfucking uh, translucent uh, kayaks, the crystal clear kayaks oh, yeah, in the yeah, water yeah. and shit. That's where that's where the, it's a beach uh, chain of. Uh, real chain of clear water islands in the Philippines. Um, the main one's called Barakai. From the Philippines, it only cost $46 to fly to Barakai. My grandma, in her whole life, was never able to afford that flight. Nigga, we went to Barakai so fast. And I tapped in with the politicians. They all young niggas my age. Nepotism babies. Well, they got grandfathered into this shit, nigga. We on private islands, it ain't even no electricity. As soon as the sun go down, we gotta go somewhere else. It's, yeah. I'm talking, I had my granny on speedboats, nigga. <laughs> that's all the shit you seen up yeah. Like that shit, I, that, that trip changed my life. Nah, that's beautiful. I was able to cry, like have my real uh, grown man cry. I was yeah. trying to get a grown man cry so bad. I went to Africa, I couldn't really get it all the way. Cause I ain't had no relatives. Mm. Ain't nobody alive back there, so I couldn't really like, you know? Right. But I got cousins and aunties in the Philippines and shit. Like people to eat and cook and sing karaoke. Oh, it was different. Yeah. So my cry out there was great. Thank you for bringing that up. I just spilled water at your feet though, brother. It's all good. We ain't tripping off about that. We ain't tripping off nothing that's that's less than stellar. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The Philippines is a really nice place, uh, even, and it's also like super affordable too. You can get some of like the best full course meals for three dollars. Yeah, he, he going. His, this is leading up to some prostitution. Don't fall. How did enough. you know that? Because I, I know you, just bro. Just about to ask him about. You start bro. talking about Young prices. Ladies. I knew you. No, I mean, I didn't. I didn't have to deal with no none of the um, maidens of the evening mm. who happen to be partaking in such solicitations. Mm. 
after hours. Mm. But <laughs> they still do do you like that. I woke up, I had four lovely ladies in the hotel. They had changed my drawers while I was asleep. What? Had, yeah, what? they changed my drawers, folded my clothes, went down to the buffet, made me two different plates. Nobody knew what I liked to eat. So they brought me two different options. Override. Yeah. This is like Filipino coming to America. No, it's just a trip to the Philippines. Just a trip to the Philippines. Anybody can get it. For you. I mean, I'm a little, I got a little bit more star power out there. Yeah, I'm okay. Also black and Filipino, so it's they changed your drawers different. while you sleep. Yeah. So Help you me with woke that. up with different drawers on. Yep. That's crazy. who put these on me? Hey! <laughs> Thank you first. No, but he wouldn't it, sleep. He did I, like no, this. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I scooted up. Yeah. <laughs> I scooted up. Uh, you gotta do the little scoot. <laughs> little scooty. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. It's That's like right. that. What hotel is this? Shut the fuck up. Okay. He, Sorry. he does only like It ain't no like hotel. That. That's, that's at your people house? Nah, nah. I was in I was in a penthouse, but it was by way of a relationship. It wasn't in the hotel. Gotcha. You can only get there by helicopter. That kind of stuff. You gotta know somebody. Literally. Yeah. Nigga, I was fucking with on all the Manila basketball teams. Mm. Every night we went, we took the helicopter that I'm not gonna I can't say out loud what who helicopter it was. But a nigga like me, not it, no, not him. Nah. Well, we landed on this helipad. And it's crazy. Y'all wanna know what's so crazy? Pacquiao and Mayweather got helipads right next to each other. In the Philippines? Yeah. Mayweather got a Filipino helipad? It's oh, almost yeah. like niggas was cooler than we thought. That might not even... Uh, he might not even want you to tell everybody that. Mm, you're supposed to sink a shit. <laughs> Money team. Oh, team my bad. Holy shit. We've been had. <laughs> Bamboozle. All I'm Let saying is... Straight. Look, P, I'm going to tell you like this. I went to... They had me and my granny on the boat. We left the island. We go to a hotel on the part of the Philippines that's not so. Nigga told me Russia was trying to buy it. It's a whole resort on the back of it, though. And that's where them niggas helipad was. He walked in. He said, uh, put your tank top on. Put my shit on. We coming off the boat. He like, if you know everybody in this room, you the president of the Philippines. I went. I posted a video. Meeting a nigga in there because he said he was the mayor of a city from the Bay called Hercules for like 10 years. I posted a TikTok. That motherfucker went viral. That nigga stole hella millions of dollars and they been looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. That's the, type of, that's the type of niggas I be fucking with back home. Damn. I do anything. So, but you saw this nigga in the Philippines. Uh huh. They just posted that shit on some. I didn't know he did that. I'm just happy to be there. They told me it was an open bar. This They got all Louis the 13th, all the Hennessy and the mahogany bottles with the gold handles. You slide like this. Mm -hmm. That's the whole bar. It's just which one of those do you want to drink? I'm down this shit. I'm down this shit. We ain't able to get good Hennessy all Philippines trip. You just get the regular ones. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to feel a little bit too ghetto. Miami. Uh-huh. You already October know what's going 6. on. No, we October 6th, James what? L. Knight Center. Hmm? Oh, James L. Knight. Oh, what's it to the oh, list? What? Oh, nigga. Hit the website. Oh, I know what it is. My mind, nigga. My, 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 <laughs> the EXO. Mm -hmm. They had the Henny EXO. Hennessy like Imperial Paradise EXO. Ooh, I don't know nothing about that. I ain't got what, what's this part of Philippines? I can't say. Okay. Because you know the Philippines is made up of a bunch of small islands. Mm hmm. It's a, it's a chain of volcanic made islands. Like Hawaii. You tell me after the show? Mm hmm. I, mean, I appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might not can go, bro. You can't. He can't, but I, I'll tell him. <laughs> <You don't> tell <laughs> we can't get there. Hey, Carlos, don't we know people? Can't we get to the Philippines? Who is we? <laughs> <laughs> Who is we? Carlos, on my behalf, can do pretty much all of it. Maybe even more because of his adding star power. <laughs>
I'm going over We've been divided. I'm going everywhere yeah, that I'm I, welcome. There's, it's a separation. It's a separation. I'm going separation. anywhere to change your I just bro. like to be... Anywhere that welcome you, yeah, yeah, you, you, you kept it real with me. You kept it real with there's me. There's boundaries. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to Scotland. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> they, they racist as hell. I don't give a fuck. I'm racist. <laughs> I'm racist back. <laughs> the fuck you mean? Yeah, you know what I really want to start Be saying? Be racist back. What I want to call white people white niggers. Can we start saying No. That? I don't like it. It's two different things. No. Being white is enough. Yes, yeah, enough. Nah, we was fighting some niggas in Texas one time, and my brother called the white boy a white nigger when he was beating him up, and I felt so strong. <laughs> I just looked back at him with pride like... Yeah. That's, I don't know. I, got, I don't know. I think it's something there. Let's put a bookmark on it. Come uh, back to it. We might have... I don't know. White nigga. I, have to, yeah, I, I just it. don't see it. Mm. We from the South. Yeah. It's a little I'm different. Open, we still punch... It's racist. different down here, we, man. We kill We can't speak we about violence. We white people. What the... Whoa, 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 whoa. We are sponsored in part by Burger King. What? <laughs> <laughs> Have you that had your radical, today? my bad, Unc. My bad. That's extremely too radical. I'm going to calm down. We got to bleep that. Time to snap that shit, Joe, and delete it. I'm from the Bay. We have heated political debates for white people. They say this, uh, I like Joe. I like Land it. of the Black Panther. That's safe? Uh, That's dope. That's super dope. Come on. Yeah, we can. And when y'all, like when the chop up, just, you, you know what I'm saying? Show footage. Like that. You, you, you yeah. just uh, brought something to my attention. Yeah, that is the home of the Black Panther, son. Yeah, we crazy with it. We crazy with it. Mm. You, any of your family have affiliation? Yeah, my grandma used to fuck with Huey. <laughs> Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> you kidding me? Do I look like it? <laughs> I don't know. Does he look like it? Oh, he yeah. can't see you. Somebody help me out, man. I forgot I was on the wrong side. My bad. No, no, no. Can't yeah, see you on the other side either. a little bit more degree. Hey, hey, hey. The, the working one... Yeah, it's, it's, it's he like can't see you, man. Low, yeah. he can't no, see. I mean, I know the struggle when I introduced myself and you were still looking up to Bro, the left. Bro, you don't understand. He can't see you. <laughs> the other one, the other one. No, this is not a joke. He just. No, I mean, I get it. I get it because it he don't. He's just imagining it all of this shit. You, ever, you see any Harry Potter movies? Did you watch those? Mm -mm. It's a character called Mad Eye Moody, and he had one that just kind of his, you know. That's, he got that vibe. That's my partner. You can't do that. I don't, only I can talk shit about it. First of all, I big the fake eye up. I told him he looked like an anime villain. Who said it was fake? That's the real eye. The, the fake eye is the one that looked real. Huh. So it's like a James Bond plot twist. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, man. You, nah. can't, you can't just assume shit. My bad. <laughs> it's the light. My bad. So, Huey P. Can you at least hear where I'm coming from? 100%. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, okay. Loud and clear. Okay. <laughs> hey, give me some napkins. <laughs> this water is... It's, I spilled the, the Ritz Carlton water on the floor. Yeah, it's oh, expensive, no. but it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Lost it, was it? Like, it's free, but they'll charge you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Welcome back to the 85 South. <laughs> A little bit of spilled water. Don't stop I my pimp shit. Hey. We got hey. Guap Dad in here with us today, man. Big movie star, big, big TV star. Music going crazy. Big rap Music star, man. Going Music going, going crazy, man. Thank y'all. Music is amazing. Hey, you, some yeah. of it sound like it was in, um, produced by Pharrell. Yeah, I'm taking um, some influence from, from him for sure, for sure. Okay. There's no young nigga that's just like trying to be blatant with it. Mm. And I'm a scammer, so I never cared about it. People thought I was stealing anything. Right. <laughs> Plus, right. when I, once yeah. I do it, it's going to sound like me. Yeah. So I was like, let me just fill in the blank. You get, you a former scammer. You ain't a scammer no more. You legit, right? Yeah, I'm legit now, but I I still steal like chapstick and shit from Walgreens. Come on, man. Leave that what you need. Alone, That's man. what you need. I like it. It's what he need. It's because I need to feel like I still got it, but I, I don't oh. do no major things. Okay, In the state of California, I can get away with that even. Oh, yeah, they can't chase you or nothing. Yeah. yeah. For real? Yeah. All right, they do your thing. Uh -huh. Once you get outside the door, it's over. It's a dollar. Before you get out the door. Before they even consider it. 
Yeah. They can't follow you around in the store. Five hundred or something. What is it? Nine. 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 Think. You can go out with before nine hundred. That's a lot of shit to steal before. Exactly. Oh, nine hundred. How many chapsticks is that? I only need one or two. Nine hundred at Walmart. You loaded. You know when the lighters be right you there. You steal seven hundred dollars worth of shit. They got some cool colors. Every day. Yeah. I've been That's trying a lot to of money. Fits and shit. How, how did this law even come into effect? What was the what was the uh? Caught the them crime. people slipping. They slipped it in there. Okay. And it was too much. Okay. Gentrification is really the root of it. If you want to get political, I'm going to tell you spe specifically where the Bay, mm. where the most of those policies was enacted for. Yeah. Uh, a lot of niggas who got that money in quarantine should have never had it. So as soon as they lost it, they resorted to the brokest of the broke tactics to mm. try to get it back and uphold that image because them track hawks can't turn left when they go fast and them Frenchies ain't going to train themselves. So all of these niggas was living a lifestyle that they could not uphold. Absolutely. And they needed to be, they needed to do that. So pride is what led niggas to committing these crimes so much to where we have laws that let it go because the police cannot respond enough. True. That's the source of it, if you really want to know. No, no, you you, you definitely, uh, I'm clear. I'm clear now, definitely. Bro, that shit down, bro. Yeah, I, um... That shit real. Performed the it, uh, be getting sick, too. You can't, you can't put all your... Money and, and no little dog. Nuh uh. They be breeding them. How many niggas you know started kennels? Yeah. Come on, man. Them the same niggas losing their money on the parlays now, huh? Come on. <laughs> broke niggas Come on. always gonna find a way to be broke. I just be watching them. They gonna find a way to give it away. I See, being, I didn't mean to get too Being uh, broke financial. is a social disease. <laughs> It, it is. ain't no social disease. It's a social disease. Yeah, it is. I don't, yeah, well, yeah, it <laughs> that's is. the problem. You hang around other, other broke people. No, nah, I ain't blaming social. nobody. <laughs> but you can, it's just like a uh, like a cold, nigga. You can catch broke. Yeah. You be around broke, the wrong group, motherfucking bro. nigga. Hey, put did my broke monster ever all come? on you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you. you broke. And they just sneeze on you. Oh, next yeah. thing you know, you in a financial crisis. The a fuck? meltdown, even. That's cold. That opened in the dumbest way. <laughs> Got to pass energy to you. Yeah. Jack, I appreciate you joining us today, man. You got that cup. I ain't shit Jack in that really? cup. You just wanted how, to look like you How you, you know it ain't nothing in here? I don't. How you holding it? Is it some? No. no. I got some tequila. You want some? Yeah, I'd love to have some tequila if you don't mind. Nigga, you just been watching me drinking this up. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't want to be rude. I'm going. Ah, uh, you ain't been you were watching me. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting. Would you would you pour me some? Put them down. Put the put your shades down. Just put your cup in the Jack. general direction of my voice. I've got the liquor into it, brother. Oh, that, that's sad. He share. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Well, Thank you so much. Cup up. I'll be happy to share the libation with you at any Kill it, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. the liquor for the poor. Can I add some reposado? Can I have a splash of alcohol? I don't mean to be troublesome, sir. <laughs> I just like to warm my hands. <laughs> Forgive me, me lord. <laughs> just a splash of tequila, please. Just to keep the old tickle warm. <laughs> <laughs> It's cold winter. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I could wet my whistle, would you? <laughs> Spotty drink for an old man? <laughs> ah, don't be like that, old chap. Give me a taste. How about a splash of ale? I'd sing you a tune in return. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Y'all stupid as hell. <laughs> oh, you niggas is dumb. Oh. I've been having to be so serious because Atlanta niggas rap so good. I'm happy to be goofy. Oh, yeah. yeah. The rap game is, is Oh, so real you be in there. Game. You got to be in the studio on your... You you in there. You knocking everything the fuck out. Yeah, it's a different thing, especially when you, like... It's coming what to I did with the freestyles and shit. Mm -hmm. You have to, like, stand on it once you say you that. Right. So then it just forced you to be in a specific mode a time. But it's fun. I love it. I like competition. No, it sound like it. It sound like it. I want niggas to go hope hurt. Mm. I want them to go on hurt, even if they leave feeling like we was friends, because we probably will be. I still want them to be hurt to do better. 
Tough love. That's how you gotta be, though. You gotta hit it like that. That's the only way to get better. Mm-hmm. It's the only way. You, you said that um, in uh, one of your songs, I, I, I don't know if it was the Magic Man, when you were like, that uh, you asked God, he created the world in seven days. Oh, yeah. Could he get your, your partners off Section 8? If God created the earth and the heavens in seven days, then why he can't get all my niggas off Section 8? They carrying these, they carrying these nines and dimes flipping their face. I flip it on 12 and scam them 11 ways. It, it was, um, it's always fun to count <laughs> when you rapping, but uh, I want the, the project to feel grandiose. I want it to feel like my ego and my yeah. charisma. I wanted to describe it, but in the death. So as a handsome man, that song feel like my monologue. That makes any sense? No, no, 100%. Oh, that makes hella sense, yeah. Hell yeah. We were talking earlier, I don't know if um, it was before the show started, about, you know, just uh, the whole magic and prestige con concept and everything, and your fascination yeah. with being uh, with Magician Street. Yeah. What? What's it called? <laughs> magistrate? The, the magistrate? A fa a fascination. Magistrate? Ma 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 magicianry? That's just, just being that a, ma a magician? Okay, yeah, to be a magician, yeah. Oh, uh, you just made up some shit? Magician? I bet you, if we look up magicianry, it probably magician is something. Magician. Like, what, so, like a so ministry a of magicians. Ministry of magic. He does yeah. magic. The ministry of magic. Like, I like that. That's that makes a, sense. That's, that's, that's a thing from. from Harry, Harry Potter. Yeah. That was the government. Hey, Harry Potter. You know, you don't make me check out Harry Potter. That was a little bit after um, you my time. Book. But I'm, I'm going to check that out. Why are you? all the way up. <laughs> the way up. <laughs> no, Harry Potter got audio books. You can still get to it. Oh, yeah. They got movies. But. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Never mind. Never mind, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. They do got movies. <laughs> they do got movies, brother. The you movie should, got you audio. Should, it's you audio. You should watch the movie on Saturday and listen to the book live. <laughs> the book ain't the movie, though. They got a, they have the movie a, ain't the book. Let, let me educate y'all real quick on how this blind shit work. All right, so it's settings on light the tape. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. It's the light sensitivity, and it's also... Um, Flip them down. That's why... He don't know light. that they down. What? Look, look, your glasses, you got glasses on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about my fingers. Oh. <laughs> you about to put my hand in my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, put your fingers down. <laughs> now, why is he telling me to put my fingers down? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, put your fingers down. That was a weird man. thing to feel. Well, but you, wait a minute. Hey, you flipping your fingers up around me, yeah, nigga. Right? <laughs> why were you? Why? Hey, I know you can't see it all. I thought you said. I thought it was offensive or something. I'm like, oh, yeah. Put your fingers up like that. Hold on, I thought put you your were fingers saying, up like that. This is sitting on the TV that you make you see better. Yeah, you can adjust the um, the levels of on the um, the brightness and the contrast, and then it also, if you want to go to another level, you can put it on. Hey, Lando, what that shit called? What you put my TV on? Where it tell me everything a nigga doing step by step. Closed caption. I think it is closed caption. They'll have like some random person reading it for you. Yeah, audio assist. Eddie Murphy is now about to walk out of the door. Eddie Murphy is doing that. Then he'll say his lines and shit. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Full, close caption. But I gotta go get some candy. It's audio, right? so yeah. It's like they tell you everything. It's like a nigga in the room with you telling you everything a nigga doing in his voice, like if it was you. Nigga, okay. So what they gonna tell you if you watch uh, The Avengers Endgame with all them niggas show up? I never tried that. You, your TV gonna that, blow up. Yeah, you ain't never <laughs> that. That sounds very confusing. Overload, sensory overload, like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Wait. That damn Black Panther came to America. That shit. <laughs> they shooting out in the house like laser neck on another dimension and shit. Damn, it's a Magneto. Goddamn. Pop! I'm like, you're just gonna come up. I'm like, you're just gonna come up. I'm like, you're just gonna come up. I'm like, you're just gonna Yeah, it's confused. Hey, wait. Everybody's there. We can get some money. Wait. Yeah. We can get some money. Yeah. I just found a way to get some money. Let's do it. Who is the black man doing the voiceovers for the hood movies, for the disabled people? Who finna be like, so here Larry come, and he finna pull out the stick. Guess what? He just pulled it out. Because I, I would, I would. Do, do that, though. That might no, be No, that's bad. a whole lane. Nobody yeah. doing that. Yeah. Just, we just discovered it. We need it's to get some it. money right there. Who is narrating the shit 
for the handicapped ignorant niggas. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Because everybody don't know. Exactly. Like, like, like for two free movies? What is their narration sounding like? It need a real nigga. That's gonna take. Because yeah. here come this messy ass bitch, Tammy. She coming down the stairs with the same dress as last there episode. There you go. Yep. And she finna hit the front door. She don't know everybody downstairs looking at the shit. Yep. Come on. Come on. I thought I you like were it. throwing me an idea, but I wouldn't be able to do that. Huh? Why not? I mean, no, this is kind of something that benefits you. Can you can listen to it. You It'll represent be, oh, a need. I'm the demographic. Yeah, you're it's a demographic. You. I'm the dem you it's, represent it's the, you. The, the problem that we need to provide the utility gotcha. to utility fix. When you click on it, it's going to be your head in the circle. Like, <laughs> like Jerry West on the uh, logo for the Looney NBA. Toe. Like Porky Pig on Looney Tunes. I like that better. That's all, like folks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to be a spokesperson. I want to be a, a figurehead. Of... How's the tequila, Jack? It's delicious. It's deli oh. what, what kind is this? This, um, this Dwayne's. This The Rock? Yeah. Nigga, I always wanted some of this, bro. For real? <laughs> yeah, man, thank you. This is delicious. <laughs> this Terrafino? No, it's Terramano. 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 He's gonna get a name, bro. Bro, this is, yeah, this is delicious, man. He's I love everything The Rock do. <laughs> That's why you ain't been able to have it. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you a good you nigga, know? bro. Yeah. Come on, man. Bro. I'm going to help you see past the boulders you cannot see past. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely warm inside right there, man. I appreciate this. You most niggas be giving niggas some regular ass whale shit. This this from the power of Dwayne. Fast and furious right here. Come on. He somehow is a part of it. Come on. Make your eyebrows go up. Mm-hmm. Do you smell the brotherhood? That the I, gang is cooking? I love you, Guap Dad. Ooh, that's a little heavy, dog. <laughs> you got I drunk deep, fans, didn't you? I, 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 I deeply feel for you as well. Hey, that motherfucker got the love bug in his body. <laughs> I love you, Guap Dad. <laughs> I'll be having that effect on people, dog. Okay, hey, I'm used to it. Hey, hey, that's, that's a hell of a gift. That's a hell of a gift, bro. That's a hell of a gift, man. That nigga said, wow, I always wanted something. <laughs> I did. I did. No, y'all should have seen. Y'all, can the camera see his toes? They was like, what are you Oh, I fuck with you, dog. I was just telling Lando oh. that we got to go get some of that rock shit. Yeah, now we rocking. Come on. Oh, Bro, you made my day for real. All bullshit aside. Thank you. This this is tastes like everything I thought it would. Good. I toast up with you, brother. Damn. Come Thank on, you. Man. To Guap Dad. Man, to um, seeing the future. That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. This is. No, I didn't. <laughs> Cause he said he was talking about it before we. Yeah. I what? I manifest. You don't need your eyes to have a, have a psychic visions, do you? I don't know. I'm clairvoyant. All right, I'll drop it. I don't know. That's what I was trying to say. He clairvoyant. So yeah, yeah. like tarot cards. Oh. Uh. The woke bitches on the gram know. who just okay. They tell everybody. Hey. Hey. You Stop get... talking to him. I, yeah. So the dad on the guap is that you? You the father of the guap? Pretty much. <clears throat> yeah, I gave I give birth to new bags as much as possible. Mm -hmm. It's and hard. I, I drop off game and leave seeds with people who could also give birth to the new bags that they're supposed to manifest within themselves. I feel like it's one of my superpowers. Mm. I make everything better, typically. Mm. Wow. You know, you remind me of a, like a young sugar free. I've been told. Mm. I've been told. Okay. I listened to some Sugar Free as a kid. I'd rather give you my bitch, my whole bitch. I'd give you my bitch. My bitch. Yeah. That's I'm, okay. I'm familiar. Hey, when I, um, I'm coming to Yoshi soon. When? Uh, in February. I, I'd love it, man, now, if you uh, open up for me and then also provide uh, protection for my car not to get broke in. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm a, you you want to know how not to get your car broken? I would you love to, to but it lived seven times. Break what color old, What bro. color was your cars that I, you rented? It was black. Stop. That's the stupidest thing. 
Nobody who live in no city, unless they're driving a Benz, which is asking to get broken into, would even buy a black car. If you was a normal citizen downtown, you wanted to get ignored because you lived there. Your car is gray, a dirty blue, the ugly red Toyotas that people don't like. You have to get something inconspicuous that seems like a normal person that does not have a good job or randomly trapped and rented this bitch or was out of town and got some money and is driving in this bitch. Anything to allude to somebody not from there, rent that one. So, Roll the front window down. So what do you need to rent? A beige Hyundai. I'm getting a flash. A, 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 a Odyssey. Keep getting them look. He get Stop the Mustang. Stop getting the black car. Shit. Stop trying to impress the bitches back home. If you got enough money and you doing your shit, somebody in the crowd got a Jeep with the coochie, fifth wheel. It's fine. You can stand on your clout when you get there. You're from out of town. You got one eye with a star in it. Be unique. Walk around downtown, and one of them bitches gonna fall. Just as simple as that. Yeah, we like originality back home. Got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, lean on that. But yeah. um, the rental. Do something stupid. Do something goofy, dog. Don't do nothing that look like um, you from out of town. It was a basic suburban SUV. Why you got oh that shit in there? Oh, my God. Man? That's what they go for at first. You getting, tr- you getting sleeves? We call that long sleeves. Because that's all the nigga go buy when he get the money with your shit. It's long sleeves designer. He, he, he getting way more than a T-shirt with your shit. Because you're going to put it all in the truck. You're going to have it all in the trunk, ain't you? That's what you had when they got your ass. It was very they they, they took my um uh-huh. my computer. Mm-hmm. What they left? Uh, they didn't leave anything. They <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> because you pulled up to that motherfucker and said, "Beep beep, hey, I'm out of town, y'all. I'm parking my shit over here. Look at me." And they looked. Nigga well, you could. Nigga had loud music playing. Come was, on, brother. It was just a ride to the show. Nigga had freak nigga music play. That don't matter. Don't unlock like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Why you had all your shit in the car? I I, I was trying to um, about to catch a red eye right out of there that night, you know, right after the show. Uh, see, yeah, you left with red eyes after too. you cried after they stole all your shit. That's also the bullshit. You can't do that. You got to pull through and, like, fully pay respect. If you don't got enough time to, like, go somewhere local and post about it, Niggas might just get you because you didn't do that. That's crazy. So do you we know, really go by honor back home, okay. regardless of how wild the young niggas got, because they kill a lot more people than my generation did. But it's still like we love back home so much. Mm. We tolerate no disrespect or lack thereof. You're you making me understand Hammer better. Mm-hmm. You ever run into Hammer? Yeah. My uncle was his barber. All the famous uh, MC Hammer haircuts. My uncle did. With the, the parts one. and all that? Every single one. The red tail. My uncle Diamond King from the bottoms. He did his hair. Get out of uh, here. Diamond King. Man, mm-hmm. hey, shut up. Diamond King house was so hard. He had like stripper poles, hidden, hidden rooms, the arcade. He had Miss Pac-Man. I played Street <clears> Fighter. <throat> That's how I'm so hard at Pac-Man. I just played at my uncle's house. He had a barbershop downstairs with all, like, the famous black people paintings. Oh, yeah, You know, yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. the one where everybody got long ass arms yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, they good time. He yeah. had, like, actual ones of those, mm. like the... the Ernie pain. Banks or yeah. something, right? Yeah. Mm. That was my That's uncle. That's hard. Mm. So, so being from uh, the Bay, the, the, um, you, you still cool with Drake? And the last uh, Kendrick song? yeah. I'm from the West Coast, so I identify with Kendrick as the winner. Mm. And it's a win for the coast as well. So the, the Bay, they cool. They cool. They, they ain't tripping on that. They look at it just as a friendly competition, right? No, I am because I'm friends with these niggas. Okay. And I'm also more closer to Drake than I am Kendrick. I don't know Kendrick like that. I know everybody else on TDE, but I don't know Kendrick like that. Mm. Not, and that's not even to say nothing. He won. I, <laughs> nigga, I play, I know all the words and not like us, but you don't think I don't. Mm-hmm. I be screaming that shit. Mm-hmm. But I still love Drake. I'm friends with him. Mm-hmm. 
my position in hip hop, I can say what I want though. All these niggas know before when they was friends with me, I say what I want. I'm an outlier. I'm the Joker, bro. I could do. I'm a wild card. Mm. Niggas know that before they was friends with me, and when they act different, after it's they turn to be joked on, mm. I judge them mm. because you knew what type of nigga I was beforehand. Mm. I held rap legends to this standard, and I stand on it. I don't give a fuck. Mm. Out of that song, how is important? How important is uh, Tupac to the Bay? I personally um, claim pop. A lot of people like to say from New York and all the bullshit, but just in terms of the culture and what the one of the greatest rap legends of all time decided to say he was from and what he claimed and where he said he got the game from is Oakland, California. The land of the sauce. So <coughs> if that nigga wanna say you know, I'm letting him slide. He from yeah, Oakland, I, yeah. I cherish him. I steal a lot from his early stuff back when he was eclectic before he just tried to be the full street nigga pot. Like that pot, the digital underground pot. Yeah. I look up to digital underground a lot. Tupacalypse. It don't get a, it don't get enough on shine, Tupacalypse. Yeah, I mean, but I like all of that shit. Yeah. That's Tupac that I fuck with. Yeah. The Tupac that was writing love letters to bitches and shit mm. still had hits. Mm. Like, the eclectic Tupac is my favorite Tupac. But he ended up being where he ended up being. He a legend nonetheless. And I fuck with him. Word, word. Oh, absolutely. Hey, uh, Carlos, I never heard you talk about Pac before. You, you a Pac fan? You ain't never heard me talk about Tupac. You, you never had a Tupac conversation. Man, I, I love Tupac. But you gotta have that with all your... We, I, I, Just we to know where do. we stand. This nigga, yeah. this nigga sitting on your car when you go outside. Hey, man. You had that Tupac conversation. <laughs> you ready? Okay. You ready for that Tupac conversation? It's about nah, that time. man. I, I'm, a big, I'm a huge Tupac fan. <laughs> no, love love Pac. Pac, Pac all the way back to the old shit, to like uh, Thug Life. Um, Tupac lives now. Mm. I was up on the first CD. Brendan's got a baby. If my homies call... Oh, you taking the act and seeing oh, like Pac, too? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. From the cradle to the grave. I'm trying to do it. Outlaw. They label me an outlaw. 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 People like, don't that, really realize that. Okay. When I first came up, none of the people who offered us deals understood because they wanted me to be one thing, especially in, like, the early viral era where they was just signing anybody. Mm. All them niggas is, like... Dead, dead or, or fell off, but you got to look at Pop. You got to look at Snoop. Mac Dre on an independent scale was like a musician and had movies and documentaries, a whole like DVD series. DVD yeah. E-40 yeah. had already been acting in so many things on top of being a mogul. I come from the land of niggas doing everything. Yeah, that's the game. Independent hustle and grind. Yeah, but you know, they say uh, jack of all trades, master of none. He a jack of coast. no trades, but he curse. master some. <laughs> He's a jack of thriller. I, I know how to do a lot of shit. Like what? Like, I think you're really funny. Thank you, Guap Daddy. Yeah, I love your sense of humor. I, I really appreciate you, Guap Daddy. Tell him you love him. <laughs> I, I want to. I don't know how he's going to take it. No, take it. It just was very strong for me. I, you know, I, I wasn't ready. You caught me off guard. I know. I'm. You really caught me off guard. This was. A, this is like That's the best gift ever. I'm, I'm a saucy nigga, man. It be happening like that. <laughs> I can't deny it. <laughs> you got a lot of layers, man. You a real cool kid, man. Thank you. Word. Well, you got kids? That's how I friends with this cool-ass old nigga. Cool oh, y'all know each other for, from long ago. Y'all been following each other for a long ago. time. <laughs> we, we only know each other really from the internet. Yeah, I think that's we big. only met twice. That counts. Yeah. That Basically, count. before this, I've been in certain cities where he has shows, and I think we was at a thing in Houston or something. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, so we've been around each other lightly before. Mm -hmm. but yeah, man. You just know, like, I instantly felt like we was related. I feel I like we related. I wanted to tell him too. shit that I couldn't tell, that I shouldn't say out loud, like <laughs> how you said when I first met Carlo. Mm. It was like that for me. Mm. But I, I, I didn't. 
<laughs> what you want? <laughs> he don't know. He don't know the name. Yeah, do he, he ain't got the filter. It. He don't filter. And, shit. What you wanted to tell him though? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of shit was that, Jack? <laughs> I think it's the best time is in it, right? Right, everybody? No, I mean, right? look, look, look. But I... <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I look at everything very military. Okay. When I met Carlos, it was clear that he was a distinguished sniper with that was not to be played with. Behind the scope. See, Jack, you, see? See? He was not to be played with. So, I wanted to come to him as the young sniper, like, hey, Unc, look at me in the field. I, too, have medals. Exactly. They shiny. We like shiny shit. Some of my shit bust down. Like, what? Look at me. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was just like... Because I, I, I'm still standing on my my talent. Sure enough. And, and also my wit. Sure on enough. On some peace shit. Amen. But um, it, I'm still paying homage. Sure enough. So I I really wanted to tell him just everything I was really going through. Mm -hmm. Life and bad shit and just nigga shit. Mm -hmm. See, I look at Carlos like a nigga icon. Like people call <laughs> me a, a spirit animal. Yeah. You know, I'm a spirit animal for a lot of people. Yeah. He one of my spirit animals. See? So That's what's I, up. I, I'm like <laughs> trying to pour my excitement into it without giving them how I really want to tell, talk. Mm. You know, my yeah. spirit animal like a guardian angel. I yeah. really want to tell you the yeah. bullshit. Right. <laughs> but like, I got to flex. Because it's know. like, the, you know, it's the first time. Yeah. 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 And I never really met him. He's humble. You're humble, but I never really met you on non-grandiose standards. Mm. We always around something. I got to keep it player. And it's be bitches around, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm in that mo. I'm don't feeling tell, handsome. Don't. I'm feeling good. My ribs up. Oh, that's I'm when like, you leave, yeah, huh? Yeah, I'm like, come on. That's when you leave. Hey, what, what kind of animal is he, though? What, what, Jack, what? I want what, this, this what your spirit me? animal. I, I was like, he what, said what kind of, yeah, he's he, my spirit animal. Yeah, here. what kind of animal? What kind of animal he looked like inside your spirit? I, <laughs> I like to imagine him. You ever watch Lion King? Yes. I wow. like to imagine Carlos as Rafi. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> the drunk nigga with the beard. The and the beard. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> just hitting you with a little random Correction. Game. I know your father. <laughs> yeah. It is and this. Like, he gonna hit you a random game and then not say nothing oh, else for like man. two minutes. And then you just gotta sit with that last sentence. Like, Simba oh, is a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. He like Rafi. Oh, I love it. If I, I love it. A spirit animal for this guy. I love it. Yeah. Word. So it'd be cool. It, and you wanna know it's so crazy? It's been hella humbling on this Atlanta trip because he said what he said about me and things that I've done. Yesterday, saw the baby and CEO Trail gave me similar speeches all individually. These niggas who I never really got to sit down and talk to. Scuba Steve. You know, Scuba Steve, he gave me a whole fucking lecture just about all the shit that I did first. Him and his brother can't go two weeks without saying a designer nickname and the, the, the way that I designed it right. for my unique flip. Yeah. And Don't mean that. It should have been crazy to feel that out here. I appreciate it. The, the love that I get from That's how we living out here. Uh, no, nah, but y'all just really respect the game, and that's, you know, that's uncommon. It's not the usual for me, at least. Gotta have some snacks in this beer. What you get? What's your snack? What's your corn store order? I, this is some m and and some Reese. Got that old shit. Yeah, that's old, man. Well, if I got peanut butter m and You think the Sour Patch is gonna save you, nigga? He pulled out the Sour Patch and like, look, young nigga. I got this shit. Yeah, look at this. Oh, I, I got you to take your mouth off. Sour Patch ain't gonna save you, nigga. I ain't got, I don't, I don't have shit to uh, offer you, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you approve of the snacks. They're not for you. Get your own snack bag. <laughs> I don't see you offering any options in this month. Uh, bring me that uh, Fifth Avenue. <laughs> yeah, Fifth <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> Holy cow. I remember, brought the libation. Remember whatchamacallit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatchamacallit? They had another one, too. 
<laughs> they had a thingamajig. Yeah, thingamajig, yeah. That shit was good. It was like the reverse of the whatchamacallit. What was on the inside of the whatchamacallit was on the outside of the thingamajig. Yeah. What was on the outside of the thingamajig. Hey, what's that one? Sometimes you feel like a nut. You know, sometimes when you talk, it sounds like you inhaling at the same time. How do you do that? I'm breathing. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like you it sound like you breathing the whole time. I'm breathing. Outside the thing. I do breathe the whole time. I got to. <laughs> it's a very fascinating nigga. I'ma die. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Look at Jack, all he thinking is old candy bar commercial. Something to do with this too. Sometimes you feel like nuts. What'd you say, nuts? And sometimes <laughs> I don't. Sometimes you feel like, what? <laughs> it's a, it's a, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying got nuts. Oh yeah, y'all. Oh, mounds don't. Y'all. Oh, I hate I'm enjoying. You young? No, I hate I'm enjoying. You don't know I, shit. I, I'm still old enough to know what I'm enjoying. Like I. No, but I'm you, y'all, your, your generation be calling people old. Like y'all. Yeah. What, what value are y'all bringing? Yeah, he, he a new old nigga. Like we should just cherish y'all young ass and be like, you y'all old. Should. Y'all young. Y'all should. For what? Y'all don't know shit. We better parents than y'all. No, the what? fuck y'all ain't. Yes, Whoa. Sir. My generation better parents than y'all. Nisha, you kidding me? My generation better parents than y'all. Y'all don't own shit. Y'all don't even have houses to raise a family in. Every kid smarter. Hey, man, I wasn't going to go there. I was. They I was going to start that's, with that's the That's the iPad, result of the economy. But damn. <laughs> you talk about that's socioeconomics. Y'all don't even the roof. You brought up socioeconomics. <laughs> I'm talking about being real nigga. You can't even write. You can't we even... not talking about socioeconomics. Yeah. My you... generation is better parents than y'all because we smarter than y'all. But what? y'all not. No. First of all, how old is you? Because you opposed to me, light skinned nigga. I don't. I can't tell where you. You thought that I'm nigga old. was young? Who side you I'm old. How old is you? I'm old. How? He old. Plus. Oh, nigga, you old as hell. Well, you young as hell. See why you want to see? We yeah, remember, yeah, 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 but we was already you. fucking when you was born. <laughs> nigga, when you was born, like two thousand. <laughs> no, nigga, I'm still kind of old. Oh. I born ninety two. Oh, we wasn't fucking yet, but. Yeah, you ain't even young. That's what I'm saying. I'm right behind y'all, but yeah, y'all, yeah, yeah. y'all generation still a little dated. What? It's too close to the old ass niggas. Your kids don't no. know how to write cursive. <laughs> he don't have no kids. Name, name me one thing you had to do as an adult where you need to write something down physically in the last three months. Name it. Let alone having good penmanship, brother. Oh, you think? Uh, no, I, right. hold on. <laughs> That's not fair. Jack signed everything with an X. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? How many months? So you just, so you just run on the table. Oh, put the paper under me. <laughs> I promise, I'm not gonna laugh at no more blind jokes. Uh-oh. You can't see. You so know. even the even the clock that um. That it doesn't have with the hands on it. The kids, the, y'all kids don't know that. Y'all know how to tell time on those. We don't. Definitely don't know how to tell time. Don't own shit. Like if this, if this was supposed to be like, like if this was up to your generation, we wouldn't even be on this show. Cause they ain't took the time to build shit yet. All y'all do is fuck and laugh. And scam. That's and scam. It. And y'all do a bunch of stealing and shit. Mm-hmm. Scamming. Every nigga that y'all got man in the cameras is in my generation. Plus the sound nigga and the white boy in here. No, he ain't. All the niggas is around my age. And I don't trust f- not a one <laughs> single motherfucker <laughs> in Why this y'all bitch. Y'all no, Why playing. you think we hired them? <laughs> the key them out of our... The they, not, out of our yeah. <laughs> they were running our shit if they weren't working here. <laughs> hey, hey, don't break my car. Come here. Get this job. Come here. <laughs> We had to literally force these motherfuckers to work. No, but also the same way, if it's a separation between y'all and the older <laughs> niggas that came before y'all, I'm trying to highlight the sweet spot that I'm in as a little bit. You in between? That's right behind you think you bridge like the gap? Like my in between is the saucy ones that I'm. You got about. two more something than the ones young underneath nigga. me. You is old young the, niggas. The little bullshit babies. And they the fucking weenies. up. They well, making saying, the her juniors. The, it's not me. It's not me though. You said after you fucking up and before you fucked up, but you got it right. Yes. Oh, so we just fucked up. Yes. 
Oh. And what, but look, we get back to the parent shit, first of all. He talking to us. It's, we his, we his parents. Yes. Ten years. Well, you ain't sir, seen my sir. son. My son know shit. I don't know how he know it. Yeah, but also, we're saucy. So y'all talking to me in defense as saucy niggas, which also kind of disenfranchises y'all with the majority that y'all represent. So we not regular. So Clearly, you... nigga, we're on the podcast together. Mm. It's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. So I'm just saying, keep that in oh, mind. So them they, oh, so we about can't my use our... It's okay. About the majority of yeah. how it's been on the timeline. Okay. You think you being, gonna, yeah, they're gonna be on your head. They're gonna be on your head. Yeah. You, you, you think being what? saucy got anything to do with anything? Cause what's saucy? <laughs> what's saucy? <laughs> this young nigga talking about red goop. A <laughs> one <laughs> hey, nigga talking about. I make my sauce from scratch. <laughs> I'm saying a lot of the things that I watched uh, y'all generation struggle with and still Give like me what? MP, like what? I'm finna get to it. Okay. Because they all relate to things that people are more aware about now. The problem is people get too woke with the awareness and then it gets too insensitive and then you lose the tough love that's rooted, that, that like I cherish in the black home. That's why I'm saying my generation still understood that tough love, but was also the transition into wokeness. For example, mental health. As a kid, I got diagnosed with ADHD twice. My whole, everybody in my family said, oh no, Keem not retarded. But then I had to live life up into adulthood, just feeling like I had 99 problems and 120 solutions when I needed to focus on one thing and then make a system for that one. Right. It's all because the simple, black people thing, let's not consider this as a real thing for us. Right. That's not real. That's the type of hood mentality I come from. That rolls over into my generation, who I'm talking about specifically, that's completely aware of it. And all of those people's kids, everybody who I'm talking about is excelling. Because we still got the tough love, though. It's not, oh, my kid ain't retarded, but at the same time, even though I, I'm aware of something that may be a deficit for the child, yeah. I'm able to still in, enact and reinforce something to um, uh, uh, fill in that weakness for them, but still, for lack of better words, roast them in the perfect way. So that oh, they bro, we knew that people. y'all was going to be fucked up. We knew. Yeah. Okay. Your well, generation, nah, I did, I did hold on, what I'm saying. I we already right. knew right. they was going to be nah. fucked up. It's your man Carlos Miller, and I'm over here at the 85 South Studios, 85 Ways. And look, if you would like to be featured on the black market, all you have to do is go to the website, go to black market, click submit, and submit. If you want to be featured on here, you can come kick it and be my guest and we'll talk about your business and how we can scale up and what's going good and let the people know exactly what you got going on. Hit the website, register, submit, and come kick it with me on the black market. You know what that means. It's money on the floor. And then those people got so sensitive now. They can't say nothing. They can't get it. And what's up, man? Carlos Miller. Look, you know the 85 South Shore is back on tour with the Big Business Tour. This year we're hitting the road and we're bringing comedy, culture, and chaos to cities all across the country. And we want you to be a part of it. We're looking for partners in every city, whether you're a local business or a national brand, this is your chance to get in on the action. Don't miss the opportunity to sponsor a show and connect with our incredible audience. If you're interested, just hit the email on the screen and let's make big business happen together. The 85 South Show Big Business Tour is coming to a city near you.